What's up everybody, Garden City Aviation here, back with another video. And I'm back with the first video of 2021 actually. Uh, the first, my first uh, two videos of 2021, these are gonna be uh, both release videos. So we're starting off 2021 with uh, the one to 400 Gemini to January 2021 releases. And then after this, you guys should see the, um, um, the uh, NG models January 2021 releases. So without further ado, let's get started. So basically we're gonna start with the one to 400 Gemini jets. Uh, releases for January, then we'll go to the Gemini Max and the Gemini 200s for this month. Uh, so, like I said before, without further ado, let's get started. Um, looking here, we have a British Airways 747-400. This is in the normal livery. I know this is going to be really popular, as many people, including I, have flown the British Airways 744. Um, I'll actually put up a picture now so you guys can see it. Yeah, so I did fly on a British 744 as you guys saw in that picture. That is the only picture that I have from on board the aircraft. Don't ask me why. Uh, I flew it from London to JFK. It was actually this exact registration aircraft um, way back in August of 2017. So obviously long before the pandemic. Um, and it was really cool. Um, I know a lot of people, including I have flown uh, 747-400s, especially British 747-400s. So I know this model, um, odds are that this model, you know, will sell out pretty fast because many people do want it. Many people who I've talked to um, do want it. But um, yeah, the registration is Golf Charlie India Victor November. And the MSRP is $59.95. Now, something I've noticed is that over the past year or so that I've been collecting and I've been, you know, looking at monitoring releases, I've been noticing that Gemini has still been bringing the prices of models up. Um, 747s released last year, you know, were like $49.95. MSRP, another $59.95. So, yeah, Gemini is still bringing up those MSRPs, but thankfully, model source, such as Diecast Airplane Store, uh, Easy Toys, uh, threshold deviation go check them out threshold deviation .ca, um, uh, dot com sorry i'll link them in the description but a lot of these model companies not model companies model stores have been thankfully keeping the prices reasonable on like gemini um in their websites so um yeah but that's quite expensive for a 747 but whatever times are changing you know uh, but anywho, moving on down the line, we have this Cargo Lux 7478 Interactive. Uh, this is in the Not Without My Mask livery. I might get this. Um, if you guys don't know, I said I was going to get the, I might get the UPS. I didn't have the chance to. It's sold out pretty much everywhere. The only place that I can find it um, really is on a few model stores, which are like real backwater model stores, like unknown model stores, like... Uh, jetway models etc but um this is uh i might get this if i have a little bit of money left but right now i'm focusing on getting the spirit a320 um neo from the december releases i know i said i wasn't gonna get it but they started flying a320 neo service uh to newark from uh, to newark from fort lauderdale in tampa and they also fly to atlantic city which is uh airport that i want to start building so i actually am gonna get the spirit a320 neo so i have really other priorities not only am i saving them but i also need to get other models so this is on my main list uh, but this is the cargo lux 7478i in the not without my mask livery interactive and the registration is lima x-ray victor charlie foxtrot or lx vcf and it's 66.95 of course uh, model stores are going to probably price it around 56 to 57 dollars depending on where you get your models from and then another case of gemini jacking up prices we have the dhl 737-800 now, this is um, basically, so normal DHL 737 800 is practically the same as uh, the NG Models one, except it has a different registration. The NG Models one, I believe that it has a British registration, which is Golf Dash something, uh, but this one has an American registration, which is November 737 Kilo Tango or N737 KT. And yeah, they slowly jacked up prices. It's 44.95 MSRP. Um, but that's the thing, you know, NG Models, they're at least they at least keep their prices down for their models, like forty four ninety five constantly, you know, year round. But with Gemini, it's slowly been creeping up, you know, from like forty one ninety five, forty two ninety five, forty three ninety five, and now it's forty four ninety five MSRP. Uh, but uh, most models are probably this is around between thirty one to thirty nine dollars, depending on where you get your models from. But yeah, and moving on down the line, we actually have quite an interesting aircraft. This is the Eastern seven sixty seven three hundred ER. 
Uh, now the reason why this is interesting is because Eastern is quite a small airline. Um, Jim and I don't really tend to release, you know, these smaller airlines. Like Eastern's really small, you know, compared to British Airways, uh, Cargo Lux, and, uh, and a lot of aircraft in these releases. Um, and a lot of the aircraft that you're going to see later through these releases, they're really from bigger airlines. And yet here we have an Eastern 767. 300ER, which is quite interesting. Uh, basically, it's not the same as the old Eastern Airlines. The old Eastern Airlines, um, you know, is dead. But this is sort of a remake of it. You know, you still have the Eastern logo, but yeah, it's a revived livery. Uh, basically, that's all the trademarks, but they have a different route network and destinations. I know that, really, from what I know, their only hub is John F. Kennedy, New York JFK. Uh, and they do fly to three destinations, I think. I think it's San Juan... Uh, Paramaibo in Georgetown. I don't know if that's correct. Um, comment down below if I'm not correct. I don't know. I don't collect models for JFK, so I have no idea. But this is gonna be a little bit. I don't. I feel like it's not gonna sell out as fast as most other models in this release, just due to the fact that Eastern is such a small airline and they fly to so few destinations uh, compared to airlines like British Airways. But the registration is November seven zero five kilo whiskey no N seven zero five kW. And it's 50, 50.95 MSRP, but you're gonna find it between 40 and 43 bucks um, on different model stores, depending on where you get your models from. And then moving on to the last three aircraft for this release, uh, in one to 400, of course, not the last three aircraft for this release, it's the last three one to 400 aircraft. We have the Garuda Indonesia um, A330 900 Neo. I think it's a 900. Is it a 900 Neo? Yeah, it's a 900 Neo in the Ayo Pakai, Ayo Pakai mask delivery. Um, th this sort of is a trend, I feel like, that like one airline puts on a mask delivery, the other airline puts on the mask delivery, and then it's like this trend. But um, I don't know. And this is going to be very popular with the Asian collectors, those of you who collect Asian models. Um, and you know, those of you who have Gruda Indonesia destinations, I know these are really, this aircraft is used throughout Indonesia and is flown all through Asia and I do believe they do fly to Europe, uh, one or two destinations, but I have no clue because I'm not an expert, but the restriction is Papa Kilo Golf, Hotel Golf, it's been like a notice already uh, that I think Jim and I is going to have a problem with, I don't know in real life what this livery looks like. If this is actually accurate, um, I know the logo and stuff is accurate, but I don't know if the registration is. And by that, I mean, I don't mean the registration. I mean the size of it. It looks a little bit too big um, in proportion to, you know, the livery. So, I don't know. But um, I get maybe it's just me. But that was the IOPAC I Masker livery. It, um, like I said, that was the registration. And it's 53.95 MSRP, but depending on where you get your models from, it'll range anywhere from 43 from what I've seen, to $50. Um, so, it's about accurate. And then moving on down the line, it's going to be very popular with those of you who um, collect European models and or live who collect models for international uh, destinations that I can fly to is the KLM 777-300ER. This is in the 100 years slash KLM Orange Pride, is it? Uh, Orange Pride, no. Yeah, Orange Pride in the K slash KLM 100 livery. It's going to be very popular with those of you who um, live in KLM international destinations, Washington Dulles. Uh, New York, JFK, Boston, Chicago, uh, Los Angeles. This is going to be very popular with you guys. But um, uh, I can already tell that right now. But the registration is Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Alpha. Um, and it looks very nice. I like it how it has the little clash between blue and orange. And you got like a little purple flourish. But basically, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, KLM is a 100 years, old, 100 years old airline. Which is why you see, uh, if I can zoom in on the model, it's very pixelated the art for some reason. Um, let me zoom in on the clip art to show you guys something. The 100 years, of course, represents 100 years of KLM. Uh, and then it goes from blue to a Dutch flag. Um, and the reason why it's orange is because orange is um, one of the symbols of the Netherlands. Uh, basically, orange is basically a symbol, I believe it's the symbol of the Dutch, uh, Dutch royal family, so I can see why they use orange. But uh, yeah, that was the 100 years slash orange pride livery. Uh, and the price of it is fifty five ninety five, uh, but you, depending on where you get your model, some it'll range anywhere from forty four to fifty bucks. Moving on down the line, this is going to be very nice for those of you who um, have Virgin Atlantic hubs. I know, I, London Gatwick, London Heathrow, um, 
you know, um, oh, sorry, St. Martin, other, those of you who, you know, do, um, what you call it, Caribbean airports and Virgin Atlantic destinations, it's going to be popular with you guys. Uh, and I know this model most likely will sell out pretty fast, but it's a Virgin Atlantic 787-9 Dreamliner. It's just in the normal livery. Uh, the registration is Golf Victor Zulu India Golf or GVZIG. But something that's pretty interesting about this is I want to see how they do with the um, gloss. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you've spotted the Virgin Atlantic livery in your life, I'll put a picture of one of their 789s up from Jet Photos. I'll put credit to the person in the description. Here's a photo of a Virgin Atlantic 789. Yeah, and that was a photo of a Virgin Atlantic 789. And basically, something that uh, you guys should know is that um, I want to see how they do with the gloss. Um, it's the same thing with the American because Virgin Atlantic have this sort of glossy look to their uh, liveries that they do. And I want to see if uh, Gemini actually gets it on point or messes it up. But uh, yeah, that's the Virgin Atlantic 789. Uh, GVZIG is the registration and MSRP is $54.95. Uh, but odds are you can be able to find it between anywhere between $42 and $50 bucks, depending on where you get your models from. And that does conclude the 1 to 400 passenger releases, uh, passenger stress cargo releases. Now we're moving on to the January 2021 Max releases, and we actually have a lot of Gemini Max aircraft. Now, Gemini have been releasing a lot of Max aircraft um, recently. October releases, we had a few. I know we had a few. December 2020, we've had one, and now we have three. So I feel like Gemini are really trying to expand um, on their uh, Max uh, releases, but, uh, anywho, moving on to the match releases, we have the Boeing B1, is it? Boeing B1B Lancer, is what she looks like, this is, um, her, it's in the Ellsworth Air Force Base, um, livery, I don't know if this could be called a livery, or just, like, stripe, I don't know what you call it, but it's an Ellsworth Air Force Base, uh, B1B, um, it, the registration is E5-0069, uh, and it's $56.95, but you guys are probably going to be able to find it for $45 to $50, bucks, depending on where you get your models. Moving on down the line, this is actually one of the two only tempting models for me in this release. This is the Dover Air Force Base C5 Super Galaxy, is it? C5M Galaxy, Super Galaxy. Uh, now, the reason, reason why it's tempting for me is because I actually spotted it. I'll give you guys a picture right here. Yeah, so I spotted it, so it kind of has some sentimentality in me. And I also want to, you know, start collecting Max models because I might um, change the layout when I redo my airport in a few years. I might change the layout to have a few... Uh, a tiny military section, so this would be nice, and also it has sentimentality to me, so I might get this. But this is the C5M Super Galaxy. This is what it looks like, and it is 61.95, and the registration is five triple zero seven. Uh, it is 61.95. That that's really expensive, and I think because for the size of the C5, I honestly think that it shouldn't be that much. I feel like it should be somewhere MSRP between like you know 54 and 56, but that's just me. Uh, but you're going to be able to find it probably between $45 and $50, depending on where you get your bottles from. And the last Gemini Max one that we have here is the Lockheed C-130J Hercules um, in the Blue Angels uh, livery. Now, the reason why, um, not reason why, well, I actually kind of want to get this. This is also another pretty tempting model for me. Uh, because uh, July of 2019, that was, wow, already two years ago, uh, July of 2019, I went, or 2018, uh, it's, it was either sometime in 2018 or 2019, uh, when I went to an air show, uh, Student International Airport, it was this big air show, and we actually saw this take off with the rockets, I saw it take off, and that was really cool for me, so I might actually get this, um, you know, just like an homage, um, oh, memorial, should I say, to that air show, you know, like a statue uh, to remind me of that air show. But yeah, it's in the Blue Angels livery, United States Marines. Uh, registration is 17 quadruple zero or 170000 or 17000. Uh, and MSRP is 3995, uh, which is actually quite on point uh, for C-130s. So good job, Gemini. That does conclude all the 1-400 aircraft in this release. So now we're going to head to the 1-200 aircraft. 
moving down the line, we have a uh, Gemini 200 Gen 2021. We have, okay. We have one to 200 Gemini January 2021 releases. Uh, in the 20, in the Gemini 200s being released, the first one on the list is the British Airways Concorde. This is what she looks like. It's in the normal British Airways livery from the early 2000s. Uh, registration is Golf Bravo Oscar Alpha Bravo. MSRP is 195. That's I don't know. Now the reason why I've been saying just about uh, these models, what they what they sh the price they should be, because that's what they're usually priced um, on model source. But I, I don't know how much um, Gemini 200 aircraft are priced on model source. So I'm just gonna go with 195 because I have no idea what they're priced in real life. Uh, but yeah, that was the Aeropastial Aeropa Aeropastial Concorde in the British Airways livery. And moving on down the line, we have a Delta, thank you, AT21 and one to 200 Now, uh, this is what she looks like. I feel, I, I think this is a re-release. I don't know if this is actually accurate, but I think it's a re-release. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, it has a registration, November 391, Delta, November. Looks pretty nice. Um, and, of course, it is... Ninety three ninety five, and of course it's in the thank you livery, and oh wow, that's gonna be huge in one two hundred. I can see why it costs one eighteen ninety five. Um, okay, so this is the Korean A three eighty. This is gonna be released in one two hundred. I can see why it costs one eighty two ninety five because not only is it die cast metal, but the size is absolutely ginormous. Uh, I don't know this for sure. I think it's absolutely ginormous from what I've seen. Um, on YouTube and YouTube videos, EV eighteen, <coughs> cough, cough. But um, yeah. Uh, basically, that's why. Um, it's one eighty two ninety five because it's so massive. But uh, yeah, that's a Korean Air A three eighty normal livery. Uh, registration Hotel Lima seven six two two HL seven six two two, and it's one eighty two ninety five. Okay, moving on. I'm, I'm only gonna show one. Uh, one of these it is the South only one picture of these the uh, Southwest 77 700 in the Louisiana one because one is just flap slats extended um, and then the other one is just a normal Louisiana one um, and I know this is probably gonna be super popular uh, considering the fact that Southwest um, any Southwest model one to 200 or one to 400 is pretty popular um, this is the Gemini Louisiana one um, now, for those of you who don't know, Airplane Shop, they had a Gemini Jets exclusive. It was the Louisiana one, and it was only sold on Airplane Shop. I didn't get it. I didn't need it. Newark doesn't get any Southwest flights. So, I know this is probably going to be really popular with those of you who collect Southwest models. Um, I know, made probably, you know, a lot of people who I know are getting it. Um, so, I know this one might sell out pretty fast. But, yeah, those are the two Louisiana ones. Uh, their registrations are November 946 Whiskey November and 946 WM. And they're 93, 95, and 96, 95, respectively. 93, 95 for the Louisiana one. And for the flap stats extended, Louisiana one is 96, 95. Moving on down the line, this one is going to sell out. I know this is a fact. This is the United 787-9 Dreamliner in the new livery. Um, it looks really nice. Um, this is what it looks like. It's got the blue engines. Um, the registration is November 24976, and it's 14695. There's nothing really special about it, uh, besides the fact that it's 1 to 200. Uh, but, yeah, moving on down the line, we have a Gemini Max C-130. This is interesting. It's 1 to 200 Gemini Jets C-130 Hercules. It has the rock on it. What? Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, Little Rock. Uh huh. Okay, okay. The Rock refers to Little Rock. Okay, it's Little Rock Air Force Base C-130 in one to two hundred. This is what it looks like. It's just a normal C-130 with um the rock on it. <laughs> I immediately thought uh Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but whatever. Um, my references are so bad. But uh, anywho, moving on, we have a Gulfstream G550 in one to two hundred. This is in the U.S. Coast Guard livery. I feel like Gemini sort of following NG with what they're doing because NG's been, you know, releasing these private aircraft in 1 to 200 for a long time. They did a Dassault Falcon 7X um, and they did a G550 too. So I feel like kind of in, in that sense, Gemini sort of is copying uh, uh, NG in that sense because I've, I'm seeing in this release a lot of models are being taken off NG. Um, but whatever. This is the US Coast Guard uh, C1... 
Golf Stream C73B uh, or Golf Stream C550, and the registration is 02. Oh, and um, the registration. I'm sorry, I, I'm just rushing through this. I need to get this finished. Uh, this is the registration is 88606 for the Little Rock one, uh, and it's 8995 MSRP. And then uh, the G550 is 795. We're moving on to our last two aircraft for this release. One of them is the US Airways 737 500, is it? 737-300, uh-huh. It is the US Airways, US Air, actually, 737 uh, 300. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty interesting. Um, since it, it's gonna be interesting for those of you who, like collect retro one to two hundred and who have US Air for and for those of you who US Air is sentimental to. But personally, it's not sentimental to me. Number one, number two, I don't collect one to two hundred, and I want to see how they do with this gloss once again. Um, because it's probably gonna be the same as the American seventy nine. Um, the gloss. I don't know what US Air actually US Air. US Air's livery actually looks like, but I do believe it looks like this. Um, but I but I do believe it has the gloss, you know, of the American 789. But uh, yeah, this is the US Air 737300. Nothing special about it. Uh, registration November 523 uh, Alpha Uniform and 523 AU. Uh, the price is 9695. Wow, for a 737300. Um, and of course, it's a much cheaper. And the last aircraft of this uh, release is the Western Global Airlines MD-11F. This is uh, what she looks like. Jim and I did release this in 1 to 400. I believe it's either in the July 2020 or August 2020 releases. They released the Western Global uh, MD-11 in 1 to 400. So um, I can see why they're releasing it in 1 to 200. I don't know if this is going to sell out or not. This is... Um, I don't know if this is going to sell out or not. I, I, I don't think it'll sell out, um, but I have no clue because I have no idea. Like, before Jim and I released the model, I had no clue that Western Global Airlines was, you know, actually a thing because, you know, I'm kind of an idiot when it comes to, you know, cargo rides, but whatever. Uh, this was the last aircraft for this release. is the Western Global MD-11F. One last look at it before we exit out and we look at the registration which is november 799 juliet november or n799 jm and the msrp is 154 dollars and 95 cents and that being said that does conclude this video if you guys like the video please like subscribe uh what just happened hello okay yeah we're having some technical difficulties um Hello. Okay, we just had some technical difficulties, so I'll just end it off here. Uh, that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my videos. Comment down below um, what my errors were and what you guys think I should prove, improve on my videos. But yeah, that being said, once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.